welcome to Anvi Pavar. Welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome to my YouTube channel. I am I think I've already said my name. Yeah, I have. I'm Danvi Pavar. So if your people are new, if your people are new here, then you should totally subscribe and also press the ringing bell beside the subscribe button so that you don't miss out any new uh, any new notifications from any new videos I post. And thank you so much for clicking on this video. And people, today I'm gonna give you tips and I'm also gonna tell you what is stopping you from reading fast and how you can read way faster. I mean, you can read one book in a day or even like two books in a day or three books in a day i mean i've read two books in a day so it's not that big a deal believe me people if i can do it if anyone else can do it you all can do it too it's no big deal and it's not that difficult well it's not difficult at all at all so let's get started first of all i'm gonna tell you things things that are actually stopping you from reading uh stuff fast so it can be the first thing it can be they monologue wow what is the monologue the sub vocalization the monologue is uh, a monologue is when you are speaking with yourself and which all people also call like you're insane you're going mad you belong in a, f a mental asylum what they don't know is like it can be really helpful sometimes i don't know if i have shared this experience before but it happens to me on a regular basis so it's not that big a deal so like day before yesterday i was like uh you know I was saying something to myself, I was speaking to myself and now I wasn't saying something, you know, repeating some academic things or something like that but what I was saying was like, you know, Janvi, do you really think you can do that? Oh my god, I don't know Janvi, like Janvi was having a conversation with Janvi, so I was having a conversation with me, I. Uh, so yeah, that's what I was doing and my mom comes out of nowhere and she goes like, what is wrong with you are you like going mad day by day so i'm like no mom i was just having a conversation with myself my mom was like you're a weird child i'm like yeah i'm your child after all so that's a monologue when you're speaking with yourself you know you're standing in front of the mirror preparing a speech speaking like vocally so that's a monologue having a dialogue with yourself so whenever uh, one person is having a dialogue with oneself so that monologue and that like inner monologue that sub vocalization so that is that thing stops us from reading fast i mean um uh, you are you're like believe that like, you're reading a text and you're reading it out vocally so it's gonna stop you it's gonna take more time what you gotta do is you gotta read this text inside your head and uh with your eyes you don't have to use your mouth you gotta zip your mouth up and then you gotta read and you don't have to like use your mouth at all so just read it with your mind and you're inside your head and then grab everything you want to and that way you can read fast so that thing don't do that next thing next thing is rereading now what is rereading i mean i believe everyone knows that already so reading rereading is when you reread the thing i mean when you read the text again so now for an instance let's uh see you have a text you have like a whole comprehension you have like a whole essay and now you're reading it and then after like you know you have read the whole passage then you're realizing what is wrong with my voice it's so deep uh so <clears throat> so after you have like read the whole passage or the whole essay so now you're thinking like I didn't understand any of it. What I'm gonna do now? Now let me tell you what are you, what you are gonna do. You are gonna go back to uh to the first word, and you're then you're gonna read the whole text again. That's what you're gonna do. Believe me, and that's gonna take a whole lot of your time. So how do you stop rereading? For rereading, why do we read actually? Because we find, you know, whatever you're thinking inside your head. I mean, you can be speaking vocally and you can be reading in your mind, or you have like the book open in front of you. I mean, this is a dialogue which most of our parents and our teachers use. You just have the book open you aren't reading anything so that's what we actually do we don't read anything we just have the book open in front of our eyes and we are thinking about something else we are down in something else in some daydreams and we are having daydreams about you know our partner or about some adventure game or anything else whatever you take interest in so and that's the issue you know you're thinking some about something that is way more interesting than where you're reading like i mean uh if you're reading like physics or chemistry if you're doing some theory of physics and chemistry so that can be boring i mean that's in personal opinion i mean i actually think that but some people actually find uh, uh social science boring but i find it the most interesting subject believe me and the civil too so uh so most of the times we find that boring so what you're gonna do is well you you're gonna read it for your exams but i'm gonna tell you how you're actually going to build your interest while reading and whatever you're reading because it's important if you better read fast so you also should have interest so that you can understand every single point 
next tip next tip i'm gonna tell you how you can actually like you know read fast tip to read fast so first thing is set a timer so this is like a personal uh you know my my tip so a personal which i've experienced so the moment we are gonna set a tip uh, a set a timer so we are just gonna be thinking like no i can't waste it like you have three pages and on that three pages it's 1 10 1 10 a.m right now believe me it is the moment i'm making this video so and now you have to read you're thinking like okay i gotta read these three texts until 1 20 a.m and now you're like Yes, I will. So you are gonna forget even about drinking water. You're gonna forget about that. Believe me, people, you're gonna forget about everything in the world because you're in a hurry to read the text. But for that hurry, you don't mean you have to read it out loud. You don't mean, even if you're reading in your head, it doesn't mean that you only have to read. You also have to understand it. And for that, you gotta have a nice interest. I'm gonna give you the tip for that. Uh, the next point is, the next tip is, so skim yes do skim now i have given this tip before in my videos in ielts videos in vocabulary videos no not the vocabulary video but i think in ielts videos so skim it's important you don't have to read text to text you don't get to uh, you don't have to do that what you gotta do is you gotta just you know go through the whole text you're just skimming okay so your eyes are moving really fast but your finger is moving way faster not word to word, not like he was a boy and he was stunning. No, 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 no. So like this, this is what you actually gotta be. And that's how you're gonna read it. Now for the interest thing. Okay, so some people take interest in novels. Some people take interest in academic books. Some people have interest in watching. Well, for the reading part, some people in novels, adventures and whatever. Everyone has their own genre. So and whatever you gotta build your interest, you gotta surround yourself by those things. And how can you surround yourself by those things? By reading the books, because you gotta build your reading. So you have to read the books regarding the same topic again and again, and you're gonna find it interesting. I know it doesn't make any sense right now, but you're gonna have to try it. I mean, for two or three days, if you're gonna read the, uh, not the same text, but about the same topic, you are gonna have such a nice interest. I mean, you're gonna you're be like, you're gonna be like, okay, I don't have any other options. So just cut off other options. Just surround yourself with all of those kind of books. And you know, ask your mom, ask your dad, like, don't give me those books. I wanna read these books because these are, uh, these are something that I need right now. And something, you know, for your exams or anything. So, for, so for that, you gotta cut off every other book and you gotta read books that are related to those books in which you have no interest at all. So when you are gonna start reading that you're gonna be like, I have no other option apparently, so I gotta build interest in that. And that's how you build your interest. Believe me, it's really nice because I've tried it a lot. And that's it for today's video too. Thank you so much everyone for watching. I am Janvi Pavar. And if you like this video, do share it with your friends and family. Do like, do comment, do subscribe, and also press the ringing bell besides the subscribe button. I think I've already said that, but I'm saying it again, repeating words. And also, if you people have to connect with me, then you can follow me on my social media, my Instagram, my Twitter, and my Facebook. Until the next video, stay safe and stay productive and stay happy and spread positivity and happiness. Peace. Thank you, everyone.